What up guys, it's Darth Pug and I have a Lego review for you today. Just uh let y'all know, uh, two days the movers come to pack uh pack my house out, so I'm going to be uh getting all the Legos loaded up in my truck because I don't want anything to happen, especially the sealed stuff here. And I said all this cut pack all I've done is two boxes and then the battle packs because well I have more battle packs like not opened, so like in there, but like stuff like that, so I got that but anyway, let's take a look at this set. Okay, so uh I mean, it's Mold Science Speeder, 75210. Uh, recommended ages, 12, 600, no, 464 pieces. Retail for $40. I got it for 10 bucks. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the set. Also, this is from the Solo movie, um, Solo Star Wars Story. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at, oh, I guess we'll start off with the figs. So first we have the, uh, I'll look at, we'll look at the two Corellian Hounds, if I can get the focus on it. So my video editing will be off in this next couple of days, just because, you know, I'm moving. So hold on, let's focus, focus! Alright, here's the, well, hold on. There we go. Here's the Corellian Hounds, um, you can see them in the movie, they're, I think they're bigger in the movie, but these actually replicate them well. I'm actually surprised they made them in Lego form. We also have them in the, uh... Han so we have one of them in the Han Solo Land Speeder. I feel like they threw these in here because they were, you know, lacking more many figures to put. Um, yeah, that's seriously what I think. Honestly, I think they could have went with another, like, bad guy. But then that's, you know, a whole other name character. But, I mean, for, for 40 bucks, like, two figures and the dogs. Like, I guess two of the dogs make up for it, but then you also get the dogs in a $30 set. So, I also feel like this set did not sell well. Because it also retired earlier. Um, but it was also clearance for, you know, 10 bucks. But mainly because uh, this isn't very iconic in the solo movie. I would have liked seeing something like, you know, the uh, the syndicate, you know, ship or whatever. Even if it's like a hundred something bucks, they can make it work. Like it has done in the past, but yeah, they didn't. So anyways, look at the other two figures. You have Bullock. So let's take a look at him. He has this, you know, very interesting dress torso piece. That and the stand there. And he just thing there. He has a pistol and a uh, walking stick thing. With his headpiece, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's new. Um, yeah. And then you have Rebolt. Now, I'm going to be fairly honest. I don't remember him in the film at all. I mean, he may have been in there. Like, I just watched it, too, and I think I know who he is. Um, I don't know if he had a name, but, like, you give him a name. So, yeah, there's his name. He has a whip, a hood. Yeah, and he does have a double-sided face, I believe. It's some yeah, that face. But yeah, that's Rebo. All the figures in here are exclusive except the Hound, so the two mini figures are. There's not very iconic. But anyway, uh, here is the speeder. I see up here in the front we have a turret, which I believe. No, that's another feature. But yeah, here. You turn this thing and the bullets fly out. And I'm gonna have to go chase that down. But anyway, yeah, that's what you do there. Right here's where you hide the dogs. So like you have this latch here, you lift it up and the dogs can you know go running out. Um Oh, cute. I should get my Lego plug in there. That'd, that'd, that'd be great. Yeah, and then right right here, you see it. the texture on here actually isn't bad. Like, the build of the speeder is good. It's full Star Wars-y. And here you see you have the cockpit with the guy in there. And let's turn this bad boy around, and you see the the blasters at the end. You roll this out. Whee! You have, like, this thing with bones and stuff. So, like, yeah, you see it slide in there. Honestly, can you fit a body in there? Yeah, you could, like... Yeah, you up a body in there. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, I just found that out like right now. So, yeah, again, all this right now is unscripted because I'm moving. But it, it wasn't a bad set. Um, so, of course, 464 pieces for, for 40 bucks. That's like, you know, price for piece ratio. That's a that's 110 cents per piece. Uh, so, not bad. But then, once again, like, so this is a set we probably we got because remember, like, you get certain images. Remember, this isn't very iconic. So, I wish we would have gotten something more, you know original uh, okay you know, this is original but more you know iconic to the film uh like crimson dawn ship that would have been great um i still hope they make one of those but overall i feel like solo i mean sadly solo did not do well in the box office mainly because they released it only six months after the last jedi versus the whole year and then the last jedi a lot of the fans were very mixed about so we got so Solo just did not perform well. I feel like if they would have released it in the winter, it would have performed a lot better just because of the wait time and people would have been in the mood for more Star Wars. Um, I actually really liked Solo. I thought it was, you know, original and good. And I love the references and all that. 
But I mean, hey, they, they might. I think they're interpreting the sequel into a Disney Plus show, like they're doing everything else right now. So I mean, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, we're at like 353 subscribers, 54 subscribers. So I mean, we're getting there. Uh, we still got a thousand to go before the giveaway. You know, before you know, I can give away this epic corporate alliance tape. Thing. I still have another one like behind there. I have three of them on open. Then I have my one open. Anyway, guys, y'all have a great day. May the pug be with you. And bye.